ceremonies as well today in the U.S. We focus on one of them tonight in Suffolk County on Long Island. New York Governor Cuomo joining more than 100 World War II vets at the Long Island State Veterans Home at Stony Brook University, including three vets from that D-Day invasion at Normandy. Here's Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett. Among the proud veterans of every modern American war, 100 veterans of World War II. And among those veterans, three men, 93-year-old Charles Sino, 96-year-old Frank DePergola, and 97-year-old Philip DeMarco. What makes Frank, Philip, and Charles so special? They knew back in 1944 that some things are worth dying for. They knew that they were fighting for all humanity. The invasion at Normandy was the largest amphibious assault in the modern history of warfare. Tens of thousands of Allied troops stormed the beaches. Over 4,500 were killed in a single day. 75 years later, the three men were honored in the Long Island State Veterans Home, among the last surviving veterans of D-Day. This, this is a long time ago. You gotta remember. Frank DePergola admits it's painful to talk about. Charles Sino agrees. I came back and the rest of the, rest of the guys didn't come back. It's very hard for him these days, but the only clear memories he does have is of World War II. Philip DeMarco says it's still a struggle 75 years later. Very difficult. Very di it's difficult to remember, but you're thankful that you can remember. He can't remember his breakfast. But he can tell you in detail when his buddy was blown up right next to him. And it's something that's so profound, it, it will stay with them forever. And the stories are, it's amazing that they lived through it.